Now let's study the examination assessment of cranial nerves. We will start from olfactory. First, cranial nerve is olfactory. Basically, two things you need to know before starting studying the cranial nerves. First, why you need to assess it, and how you will you how will you assess it. Number one, if the patient has or a report of ab abnormal smell or taste, then you will check the olfactory nerve. You will ask the patient to identify the sim similar odors, right? right? For example, coffee. Ask the patient to close one of the nostrils and try to smell from the one nostril, right? Or you identify what it is. It means the olfactory nerve is intact. Number two is optic nerve. Optic nerve is the second cranial nerve. Actually, we use, we test it. We test the optic nerve via Snell chart. This is the Snell chart as you have seen this. When you the doctor, the doctor the Snell chart. So, we will check the Optic nerve via Snell chart. Number three, four, and six. Three, four, six cranial nerves. We have to test them together. Because they all almost function similarly. It is that basically they are checking. We are checking the uh, eye symmetry, the globe position, asymmetry, droops, drooping of eyelids, and twitching of flutters of lids. So, uh, so we can test third, fourth, and six somehow together. The third is oculomotor, fourth is trochlear, and sixth is juicing nerve. Okay. Third is oculomotor. We will put the torch in the eyes of the patient and the uh, pupil will stick. Right? So this is the test to check the oculomotor. I mean, doctor ke bhi jate hai, to the torch doctor maata hai, to this will be oculomotor nerve to check kar And we H test we can do. This is H test. H test we basically what we do. We have H made. We draw the finger with the patient's eye. Right? This. I draw the H with my finger in the ear. I draw the H with my finger in the ear. I draw the H with my finger in the ear. I draw the H with my finger in the ear. I draw the H with my finger in the ear. I will look for the symmetry. Right? Actually, I am checking the oculomotor. Because the extra ocular muscles hai, uh, that are supplied by oculomotors, basically, we test the oculomotor uh, nerve. And in 6, the muscles are supplied by oculomotors. Number 4 is trochlear. In trochlear, we can test the age test. But we can test the downwards and in torsion. This is in torsion. The patient will say, here, see. Here, we can keep our finger. So, we can see our finger in the center. Mein this is in torsion. Or downward. We can use our finger. So that is the how we will check the trochlear nerve. If patient is unable to do that, then it is the trochlear nerve palsy. Number six is abducent nerve. This is how we can test the age test. We basically have side stick movement. We can put the finger on the side and we can put the finger my finger ko dekhiye i was ki ye puri move karti hai eyeballs side par to iska matlab hai ki abducens nerve is intact ab hum dusri side pe move karenge this is the actually the side to side or lateral movement theek hai hum basically isme test kya kar rahe hain lateral recti that is supplied by the abducens nerve if patient is able to do that it means abducens nerve is intact now in this lecture you studied first Second, third, fourth, and sixth cranial nerves. And we will study the uh, remaining cranial nerves in the next lecture. Thank you.